What is up everybody, it's Joshua and I'm back with another video and today we're here at Busch Gardens, Tampa. I don't have much of a plan for today's video other than there's a few things I, I do want to do. One is confirmed that I know I can do, another one's kind of just going to be like a trial and error to see what I can find and what I can't find. First, we're going to go over to the giraffe bar, try us a drink, and try this giraffe-shaped pretzel because... Who wouldn't want to have a giraffe-shaped pretzel while drinking a adult beverage while looking out on the Serengeti at a giraffe? <laughs> I mean, it can't get any better than that, right? Um, and then the next thing I want to do is, so as you guys know, Hollow Scream is quickly approaching, and they have confirmed that houses are coming back to Hollow Scream this year, which I am very excited about because last year was good, but man... We were missing something, and it was definitely houses. But I have been hearing, I know it's confirmed on certain things, but not all things. I have been hearing that some props and or little hints are being thrown around the park for Hollow Scream. So I want to see if we can do maybe a little Hollow Scream update, see if there's any construction happening, anything like that. I know there's not much of that here at this park because a lot of the... Bigger creators are over in Orlando, so I thought, you know, I'm going to come out today. We're going to have a little bit of fun, not have a totally planned out day. And I decided to bring you guys along with me. So, if you guys are ready to go on this journey with me, let's go. Now, as you can kind of see here, I don't think it knows whether it wants to rain or whether it wants to stay sunny today. So, I'm just going to have to wait find out. Dang, it looks like Cobra's Curse is down for today that sucks so the first thing i want to point out is they're still saying that reservations are required but at the front the guy literally was like all i got to see is your ticket i don't have to see your reservation so i don't understand why you are going to need a reservation if they're not actually checking them still no update on this beautiful coaster it's all just anticipation and waiting and waiting so we have our 2021 event list for Busch Gardens Tampa. We have summer nights happening right now through September 6th. We have Beer Fest approaching very, very quickly with August 13th to October 31st. Then we have Hollow Scream September 10th to October 31st. And I'm so excited that it's returning with houses. And then we have Kids Weekend October 2nd to October 31st. And then we have Christmas Town, November 12th to January 2nd. All awesome, awesome events. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my Summer Nights video, I was here opening night for Summer Nights. I will link that in the description below. It was a really fun night. I'm actually going to stay tonight and watch the fireworks. I'm not gonna film anything because I already filmed a whole video on it, but I really, really enjoyed the show. So make sure you go check it out. So right here normally is the entrance for a scare zone called Little Nightmares. I don't see anything yet as to clues for Hollow Scream, but it is still really early, so I'm not expecting too many clues. I'm just expecting some, but none in this area right now. So we're in the Tigris queue. I'm not actually going to be riding Tigris. Here's Tigris. We're in the queue. I am going to show you the first hint that came out, I think, a few months ago of what's to come. So this area right here was black spot at one point for Hollow Scream, but if you guys kind of look over here, this ride by its very nature creates forces. There's some fencing up around the exits. And I hear that this will be a vampire themed house this year. There's some stakes and pictures up towards the front of the line a little bit. I'm gonna try to move forward. So here's another look at this fencing I'm talking about. It goes pretty much all the way back to the exit of set house. So I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there is either one bicycle or two bicycles over here. And then there's like a fabric tarp something on the ground. So I don't know what's going on back here, but Hollow Scream is definitely coming. And then we get closer to the entrance of whatever house this is gonna be, and there's a brick wall where the ship used to be. 
And then, if you see that little orange dot over here, it kind of looks like there's fire on it. I can't get any closer than this. This is gonna be a cool, cool house. I do want to mention that nothing I'm talking about today is actually completely confirmed by Hollow Scream or Bush Gardens. The only thing that is confirmed for the event that's coming back is the Fiend Show, which will be held in Gwazi Field again this year. Everything else that I'm talking about is just speculation from what I personally am seeing today. I know from pictures that have been posted already that that will be some type of vampire themed haunted house only because of the pictures that were uh, posted. I'm gonna walk over to the right over here by where the Skyride entrance is, which Skyride is still not operational. And I wanna see if anything's going on where the scare zone, the shortcut was last year. So I actually don't see anything really going on from this point of view. I know I can go over to the Tiger Trail and get a closer view, but it looks like the overhang for the Christmas lighting trail is still up and there's this blue wall in front of it but nothing looks to be under construction at the moment so we are in the jungala area which if you guys remember from hollow scream last year this was lichen landing i don't see too much going on right now and to be honest with you i don't see much going on in the next few months only because this is such an open area i don't feel like they can put too much out without giving too much away so yeah, I'm in the tiger viewing area and I don't see too much going on. I know there's a lot of trees everywhere, but there's just not anything going on like there was last year where I could kind of see stuff popping up. I think it's still too early for this area to even be set up because you can still see a lot of it through certain areas. But a good sign to all this is that they've put up two big blue walls on each end of this area here, this walkway because the last time I was here, which was only like about two or th two weeks ago, I could see straight through this. So that means they are starting to work on it slowly but surely. So in other holiday news, the area where you meet Rudolph and friends has gone back up slowly and it's going to be in the same area from what it looks like now as to where the show called Opening Night Critters once was, which is not any longer a show here at Busch Gardens Tampa. Also, the Christmas trees are back up in that area and some of the structure pieces have gone back up. It's a good sign for Christmas Town. So I'm in the Pantopia area where Manic Midway normally is, but I don't really see anything going on here either. I feel like the stuff that's out in the open really won't be put out till a later time, but we're still gonna look. So to be honest with you guys, I'm actually happy that we saw what we saw today whether it be for Hollow Scream or Christmas Town. Because honestly, I didn't expect to see anything. So, still a, still a success in my book. So there's still no real update over here where Rhino Rally once was. They've put up this wall, it's been up forever. Um, I heard a few different things were going on. I heard they were putting a ride back here, like a, a swing type ride that Williamsburg has. I've heard they're not doing anything right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the update for this. Nothing. So all this running around and hunting for props for the season has made me quite thirsty. So I think it's time to head over to the giraffe bar at the Serengeti Outlook, grab us an alcoholic, adult beverage, and maybe a giraffe shaped pretzel. As I was walking over to the Serengeti Outlook, I saw this nice blue wall up in front of the house that was Insomnia. Now I hear Insomnia is coming back and from what it's looking like, they're doing some major work inside. Now this is the first time I've ever seen them put up a wall like this for construction on a house. Normally they just keep the main doors closed and they just work on the inside. So is there gonna be a crazy facade or entrance for this house this year? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. So knowing that I'd probably get in a whole lot of trouble if I walked up on my camera and poked it through the peephole they have over there, I decided to just walk up myself, you know, look like I'm not really, you know, doing what I'm doing. And I saw a whole lot of props on the inside of that wall, right in that whole first part there. There's a whole lot of props. They kind of look like insomnia props. I'm not too sure. It looks like some of the props that sat outside last year because they took it all outside. I don't know, I'm just excited. This was probably one of, if not my favorite house 
and it's not because I worked in it, because I loved residents too, but just the whole story behind it and everything was amazing. So I'm excited to see what they're doing to this. So enough with all the distractions. Let's head into the Serengeti Overlook to the Giraffe Bar. Also within this area with Giraffe Bar, they have the Treetop Kitchen, Oasis Pizza, and then obviously the Overlook of the Serengeti. So when you first walk in, off to the right, this will be the Treetop Kitchen, which is opening soon, so it's not open yet. And then when you walk over here, this will be the Oasis Pizza area. This is where you can get all your pizza, your food, everything like that. And then off to the left here is the giraffe bar. And I'd already gotten my drinks. And I'm just walking around and showing you guys. This is pretty cool. It's very nice in here. Here's a look at the menu. They have different giraffe beers, seltzers. They also have food options. I got one of the frozen cocktails, the Posh Puffin, and let me tell you, it looks amazing. Okay, so it's like really, really hot outside, right? So I didn't want to go to just like get a plain like beer or wine or anything like that. So I went and got a frozen cocktail. This is called the Posh Puffins. It comes with a slice of watermelon. It has a small batch of Icelandic vodka and it's frozen watermelon. And I got an edible straw. I'm gonna try it out. The sample she gave me tasted good, but I wanna try it all together in one big cup. Plus, depending on what drink you get, I think most of them, most of the drinks that you get here at the giraffe bar goes, the money goes towards a certain like preservation. So this specific drink goes to the preservation of sea puffins, which I'm going to assume is for sea life. So that's really, really cool that I know that like, some of my money that I'm spending on alcohol is going somewhere other than in somebody's pocket, I guess I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's really cool. Plus, I got a giraffe shaped pretzel, which I'm excited about. Can we just take a look at this pretzel though? Like, <laughs> look at this thing. That's a big pretzel. I can't even like keep it in frame. I like that, that's really cool. It's a giraffe shaped pretzel and it comes with beer cheese, which I'm excited about because I love cheese, but I also really, really love beer cheese. So we're gonna give this a try too, and just kinda sit here and enjoy all the amazing views and the birds everywhere. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's super smooth, so it's not, it doesn't like really, really hit like a lot of like vodka and stuff does. It's really nice very watermelony like you don't really taste the alcohol much and this slice of watermelon I'm gonna let sit and soak in the alcohol so I can try it but like I said we also got an edible straw so yum I mean just look at this view like you can just come out here sit down enjoy a nice drink and have this pretty amazing view to look at I love this about Bush Gardens too, as you can see the Serengeti. Like out at Animal Kingdom, you can't really see it from anywhere unless you ride the safari. Very pretty. Okay, so I ended up taking a bite of the pretzel off camera. I love the cheese. The cheese is really good. It's definitely a beery cheese. I wish the pretzel was a little bit softer though. Like, it's, it's kind of tough, which I probably got a bad batch. Like, they sat there for a little bit. But other than that, I can't complain. It's a good little snack to kind of tide you over for the day. So I think that's going to do it from us here at Bush Gardens. Tampa bad weather is approaching like a normal Florida summer day. So um, I'm going to head back to the car, and then I will end the video when I get to the car. Alrighty, guys. That is going to do it from us here at Bush Gardens, Tampa. I actually had fun and I didn't ride anything. I only watched one show and that was to kind of uh, get into the AC a little bit because it was very, very hot today. Um, in my opinion, it was very successful for what I wanted to do. I saw a lot more uh, props and stuff going on with Hollow Scream than I thought I would at all. And I saw some stuff going on for Christmas Town, which is weird because that's still months away and they're already working on it. 
which is great to see. That means that means you know things are going well and they know things are going to be coming back. So I'm excited. But overall, it was a, a success. The giraffe bar was amazing. The view spectacular. The drink amazing. The pretzel could have been better, but it was just good enough to get me through the day with a we you know with a little snack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, some days. Are, are good to have like this where you don't really do too much, but you do a lot at the same time. I, I don't know if that made any sense, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Hollow Scream, can't wait. From what I can see right now, everything looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of uh, more spooky things coming. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, I'll see you on the next journey. Peace.